The ones that go on the north side, theirs are going to get the least amount of sun. So you're going to put the smallest number of panels on the north facing side, on the north facing roof if you can. Um, and you try to put as many as you can on the other side. So all of these little factors tend to mm -hmm. add up into how much power generation capability you actually have. Uh, even my next door neighbors, because their roofs point the other direction, they may not be able to generate as much power as I do. Now, so what the AI systems and what your solar advisor is able to do, he's able to tell you about how much power you're able to generate per day, and you can multiply it and figure out how much power generation you could have per month. Right. And because of this, now that you know how much your panels can generate, and you can see how much uh, you average every month, mm -hmm. now you can start making some competent decisions. Now, right. Okay. You can start figuring out, okay, well, how big of a system do I need? Because as you can see, these solar panels cost a lot of money. Okay? It's a big investment. It's a, it's a very large investment. Yeah. And the difference between a five kilowatt system and a 10 kilowatt system is significant. And even that between a 15 kilowatt system, very significant. So you want to be able to get it right. Mm -hmm. and, and these are the, some of the tools that you can use, utilize to help you uh, to uh, get it right. I have a question though. So let's just say you get these, these panels, you sink 60K into these uh, panels and batteries, which you'll talk about later, you say. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hurricane mm -hmm. um, or you know, some sort of natural disaster. How does your insurance affect you in terms of uh, the cost of you know, homeowners insurance and things like that with these panels? Provided they know about it, it can be different from policy to policy. Most of the time they'll cover that. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, uh, I do know some that do not. And in the case of a hurricane, well, insurance companies are flaky to begin with, so. Uh. No, that, that wasn't wind damage, that was water damage on your roof. Okay. Right, yeah. whichever. Are you <laughs> okay. gonna cover it or not? <laughs> they don't cover water damage, typically. Wow, wow. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the damage on the solar panels may be covered if they know about it and it's you know, part of the home. So, okay. absolutely. Coincidentally enough, if you have solar panels during a hurricane, you usually don't have power, solar panels will pick that up. And that's, it. that's where we get into the whole battery situation at. Yes. Now, the battery situation is twofold, okay?